Hello listeners and welcome to our English language program Daily Current Affairs Quiz. This is your RJ Priyanka and without any further delay we begin our today's quiz with our very first question. So the first question for today's quiz is which of the following platform was launched by the government of India GOI in a pilot mode to digitize India's universal immunization program UIP? The correct answer for the question is D You win. The government has launched You Win the program to digitize India's universal immunization program UIP in a pilot mode. The platform that replicates Covin which has served as the digital backbone for India's COVID-19 vaccination program was launched on January 11th in 65 districts. Now let's move forward to our second question. To promote medical value travel in India, which ministry has recently signed an MOU with the India Tourism Development Corporation ITDC? The correct answer for the question is A, Ministry of Ayush. The Ministry of Ayush signed a memorandum of understanding MOU with the India Tourism Development Corporation ITDC to promote medical value travel in Ayurveda and other traditional systems of medicine. Now let's move forward to question number 3. Along with the Prasar Bharti, which of the following country has recently signed an MOU to facilitate content exchange the correct answer for the question is c egypt india and egypt have signed a memorandum of understanding mou to facilitate content exchange capacity building and co-productions between prasar bharti and national media authority nma of egypt now let's move forward to question number 4 Who among the following was awarded the Pandit Hari Prasad Chaurasia Lifetime Achievement Award? The correct answer for the question is C, Dr. Prabha Atre. Hindustani vocalist Padma Vibhushan Dr. Prabha Atre was conferred with the Pandit Hari Prasad Chaurasia Lifetime Achievement Award. The award was presented to her by Maharashtra Chief Minister Eknath Shinde at Thane near Mumbai. Now let's move forward to question number 5. Swipe Up, a first of its kind platform was launched by which of the following small finance bank SFB recently? The correct answer for the question is D. AU Small Finance Bank AU Small Finance Bank announced the launch of a first of its kind swipe up platform that will allow credit card holders of any bank to get an upgraded card instantly In a statement AU Bank said that swipe up platform will allow other bank credit card holders to compare existing credit cards within 2 to 3 seconds Now let's move forward to question number 6 To offer financing solutions to its electric vehicle EV dealers the Tata Motors has partnered with which of the following bank The correct answer for the question is B ICICI Bank Tata Motors said that it has partnered with ICICI Bank to offer financing solutions to its authorized passenger electric vehicle dealers Under the partnership ICICI Bank will provide inventory funding to the authorized passenger EV dealers in addition to the bank's funding to dealers for diesel and petrol models. Now let's move forward to question number 7. Who among the following was appointed as acting chief justice of the Himachal Pradesh High Court? The correct answer for the question is B Justice Sabina Justice Sabina the senior most judge of the Himachal Pradesh High Court was appointed as acting chief justice she assumed charge on January 21st following the retirement of justice Amjad Ehtisham Said chief justice of the Himachal Pradesh High Court Now let's move forward to question number 8 In which of the following state or union territory the first India Stack Developer Conference was held The correct answer for the question is A New Delhi The first ever India Stack Developer Conference was inaugurated by the Minister of State for Electronics and Information Technology Rajiv Chandrasekhar in New Delhi According to the meeting the event saw participation from more than 100 different startups industry associations and other organizations Now let's move forward to question number 9 Who among the following has been sworn in as the 41st Prime Minister of New Zealand The correct answer for the question is B 
Chris Hipkins. Chris Hipkins, 44, was recently sworn in as the 41st Prime Minister of New Zealand. Hipkins was first elected to the Parliament in 2008 and was appointed Minister for COVID-19 in November 2020. He was the Minister for Police, Education and Public Service. Now let's move forward to the 10th and last question for today's quiz. Which of the following Indian song was nominated for this year's Oscar? The correct answer for the question is D, Natu Natu. The song Natu Natu from India's blockbuster film RRR as well as two documentaries from the country All That Breeds and The Elephant Whisperers have made the final list of nominations for the 95th Academy Awards. So with this question we end our today's episode of Daily Current Affairs Quiz. Please stay tuned for more learning. This is your RJ Priyanka signing off for the day. Thank you.